As COVID numbers continue to climb, some people are halting their travel plans for yet another summer. So talk to me about your travel plans for this summer. Do you have any? No, not any further than just miles away from my home. Millie Hall says concerns over COVID are keeping her close to home. I do have grandchildren in Macon, Georgia, but I'm still concerned about the COVID rates. There's also concerns over mixed messaging regarding masking. Mask mandates on public transportation are no longer in effect following a ruling by a federal court judge. But the Centers for Disease Control recommends everyone to and older, including passengers and workers, wear a mask in indoor areas of public transportation like trains and airplanes. Doctors say when it comes to mixed messaging, it's clear who you should trust. I would always trust the scientists. For instance, air travel, people say that it's not possible to get COVID on an airplane due to the filtration system. If you're sitting next to somebody with COVID, you absolutely can. Concerns over to travel or not to travel come as Michigan Department of Health and Human Services announced Wednesday that new COVID cases in the state increased by 30% compared with last week. Doctors say that increase is due in part to the BA2 variant that's more contagious than the original Omicron variant, but that's not the only factor. People are more lax right now, so masks have gone away for the most part. We know that our vaccination rate has dropped off too. Doctors are also seeing an increase in the number of people being treated at the hospital for COVID. For instance, at Beaumont Royal Oak, now we're seeing 30 some COVID patients at a time where as if you go back a few weeks to the least patients we had, it was maybe single digits or 10 patients. Doctors say if you plan to travel, make sure you do more than pack your bags before leaving home. Uh, that does require a little bit of homework. And if you uh, just simply check and you can do a quick Google search, it takes two seconds. Just see what COVID's like in the area that you're going. Um, you know, if it's a hot spot, then maybe consider masking at least when you're in dense areas. If it's a very, very low risk area, then that means that the risk might be low and you may not need masks at all. As for Millie Hall, she says she will continue to rely on Zoom to stay in touch with her grandkids in Georgia. I've missed a graduation and I've missed a prom. But it's more important that I stay healthy. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.